Hello students, in this video we are going to study jump form work. So we will see the introduction part. We know that constructing a high rise tower is not an easy thing as the complexity of the work increases when the height of the tower increases. The traditional form work patterns in our country are not enough to construct such tall structures as they don't have much properties which is being required. Hence, to construct such tall structures, favorable and well mechanized site is required. Nowadays, for constructing such tall structures, various new technologies are introduced and trending such as slip form technology. And also we are studying here the jump form technology. So we'll see what is the jump form work or the jump form work technology. So it comprises the form work and the working platforms for the cleaning, fixing of the form work, steel fixing and concreting. The form work supports itself on the concrete casted earlier. So it does not have to rely on the support or access from other parts of the building or permanent works. It includes system which is often described as a climbing form. It is suitable for the construction of multi-story vertical concrete elements in the high-rise structures such as the shear walls, core walls, lift shafts, stair shafts and the bridge pylons. These are constructed in a staged process. It is a highly productive system which is designed to increase the speed and efficiency while minimizing the labor and crane time. The systems are normally modular and can be joined to form long lengths to suit the varying construction geometries. This jump form systems are typically used on the buildings of five stories or more. Fully self-climbing are generally used on the structures with more than 20 floors. Uh, sometimes this jump form, jump form can be used for more than uh, 60 floors also. There are some construction which are being done in the South Bombay which are using the jump form of system. Okay, so however, a combination of crane handled and um, self climbing systems can be viable on the lower structures. Now we will see the types of jump form work construction. The first is the normal jump or the climbing form. In this, the units are individually lifted off the structure and relocated at the next construction level using a crane. The crane availability is here crucial. So this is how the jump form is used for the wall formation. Now, second type is the guided climbing jump form. It uses a crane but offers the greater safety and control during the lifting as units remain anchored and guided by the structure. Self-climbing jump form. It does not require a crane as it climbs on the rails up as the building uh, goes in the upper direction by means of the hydraulic jacks. This is a self-climbing jump form. So it goes up in the upper direction by means of the hydraulic jacks. Advantages The fast construction can be achieved by careful planning of the construction process. The self climbing formwork cuts down the requirement of the crane time. By allowing the crane to be used for other construction work, this may reduce the total number of cranes that are needed on site. The formwork is independently supported, so the shear walls and the core walls can be completed ahead of the rest of the main building structure. High quality surface finishes can be achieved using this method. The climbing forms can be designed to operate in the high winds. The highly engineered nature of the jump form systems allows a quick and precise adjustment of the form work in all planes. Some former system can be used at an inclined angle also. A small but a skilled workforce is required on the site. Also, it is easier to plan construction activities due to the repetitive nature of the work. So, this was all about the jump form work. We have studied slip form work and the jump form work. So, these are the two methods which are used for building the tall structures. Okay. 
Thank you.